Hello! So in my last apartment tour, I got to show you a little sneak peek of our workspace and a lot of people asked me to do a more detailed video of my loft space. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you finally the finished loft space tour. Let's go! So far in this space, it's big enough to fit four desks. This is the main place that we're using most of the time these days. All of us are working from home, so we can't go into the office. And we decided, you know, we're living in Silicon Valley, why not convert the loft into a little workspace area? It feels like a little mini startup. I'm gonna start off with this one. This is my sister's desk. And the cool thing about this desk is that she was able to get her company to expense this stand-up desk. And this, I'd say, is the most fancy stand-up desk ever. This desk allows you to save the height settings of your desk when you're standing or sitting, so you can adjust it with a quick click of a button. It might be a little bit pricey for some of the people. I think she bought this desk for about $1,000. If you want a more affordable version, then you can always go for the one that I got, and that one was about $300 when I got it. She really likes this keyboard, and this keyboard is known to be really ergonomic. When you're typing all day, then this is supposed to help her with um, carpal tunnel syndrome, metacarpal syndrome, some syndrome. <laughs> the next really cool thing I want to show you is the hoverboard. The hoverboard has been used in a lot of work offices. It requires you to self-balance while working on your muscles and reflexes. It also makes you engage your core so you can get a nice little workout while you're just standing there. The second workspace you'll notice has a lot of monitors. My sister's boyfriend is in marketing, so he likes having access to many screens. This widescreen monitor is extra useful because he can open up a lot of different windows onto one screen. The next desk is this awesome engineering desk. This is my fiance Kevin's workspace area. Here we have a two-piece corner desk, a large 3D printer, and a wall cabinet to fit all the not-so-nice looking wires and gadgets. So this mask in itself was all 3D printed. This actually took a really long time to print. I think it was at least 36 hours of printing. And um, it's really smooth, really cool quality. We have this cabinet up here that we got from Ikea. And this is really useful because he, as an engineer, has so many wires, just a whole bunch of gadgets. And I didn't like that it was just going to be hanging out. So we try to make sure we have lots of different storage spaces. This, if you open it, woo! Woo! So that's why we have that cabinet. That's why you need storage space here. Okay, going on to another storage area. So this desk required a lot of space. We got this desk from Walmart and we liked it because it was big and spacious, but also had frosted panes that made it look more minimalist, even though we tried to hide things behind it. Another cool thing about this station are his mounted wall monitors. We really liked this because it's so easily adjustable. You can turn it to different angles and even flip the screen vertically if you wanted. It's super nice and flexible for a small area. Last but not least is my desk, of course. And you've already kind of seen this because I've made a video of my workspace setup. But to kind of continue off of my sister's standing desk, hers was a little bit more of the pricey version. And mine was more of the affordable version. I got this one on Amazon and it's about only $300 compared to my sister's $1,000 one. It does the job for me for right now. I really like this desk. I use it every day and I think that it's been working really nicely and it fits my monitors perfectly. Moving on to the nap pod. This is our kind of our relaxation area. It's our zen area. And we really try to copy a lot of the things that Google did that we thought was really cool. Google has these areas called nap pods where if you get tired sometimes you can just relax. Maybe take a little quick nap. And so we kind of wanted to do something similar with that with our one person nap pod right here. There's also this nice white brick wallpaper behind. So what we had to do is we actually had to measure this entire wall space first. And then on Home Depot on their website, you can kind of type in 
the amount of wallpaper that you want that would fit to your space. So you can customize it to whatever length that you want it to be. It really also brightens up this loft space so much more after putting it in. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think we started around 3 p.m. and didn't finish putting up this entire wallpaper until maybe 1 a.m. Honestly, I have to give most of the credit to Kevin though because he did an amazing job doing this. Another really cool area of this loft space is this refrigerator. So this is a mini fridge that we actually got off of Amazon. And what we really liked about it is it's small and compact, so it didn't take up too much room. And it's also really minimalist looking. It's white, so it matches our white desk furniture. And we also really like the fact that it's see-through. I like this fridge because you can also adjust the temperature to what you want it to, so, um, so that's really nice. It keeps our drinks pretty nice and cool throughout the day so that we don't have to go downstairs and get drinks. We're just lazy like that. So that concludes my loft space tour. I know that a lot of these days, people are working from home a lot still due to COVID. So I felt that this would be kind of a cool video just to put up because I use this space like 90% of the time on most of the days and I thought it would be cool to be able to share with you all the things that I found really useful. If you liked any of the items in here that you want me to link, then please feel free to comment in the comment sections below. I will try to link as much of the products as I can that I can remember. So if I forget anything, then just remind me. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much again for watching this video. You don't know how much it means to me when you watch it. Give it a like if you like this video. I hope I see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah.